Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to leverage the native Azure policy service to apply a set of desired tags to resource groups and inherit those same tags at scale. For today's demo, in step one, I'm creating a new custom tag policy based on an existing built-in policy from Microsoft. This allows me to customize that particular policy's logic to suit my specific requirements. Next, I'm going to create a new initiative to group several tag policies together to form my overall governance needs. Using an initiative allows me to easily duplicate tag policies as many times as I need to achieve the desired tag coverage. In step two, I'm going to assign that tag initiative to my management group scope, ensuring that the tag policies are automatically inherited to subscriptions and resources below. Then in step three, I'm using the Azure portal's built-in cloud shell to manually trigger a policy state scan across two subscriptions, which will update the policy compliance stats on demand. Finally, in step four, I'll demonstrate how to manually trigger a tag policy remediation for existing resources in subscriptions. I'll also specify several tag values on one of my resource groups and create a network security group within to showcase how the automatic tag inheritance works using the policies I assigned earlier in the demo. Okay, so this is my demo environment. I've got two subscriptions and resources in those subscriptions. On my tags currently across the tenant, uh, just the one tag that's a built-in one from Microsoft there. So let's go to policy and then definitions. And I'm gonna look for an existing tag uh, policy to customize that. So we can use the filter here for category just to quickly find it. The specific policy here is called add or replace a tag on resource groups. I'm gonna duplicate that into a new custom policy and I'm gonna save that at my management group scope. I'm just gonna update the name so it's differentiated from the, uh, the existing policies there. Here I'm making two key changes to the policies logic. First, we're going to replace the not equals condition to an exist condition. This change ensures that this policy is simply looking for a missing tag name on resource groups instead of also checking the tag value. The second change I'm making is to add the default value property to our existing tag value parameter and use an empty string for the value. This change ensures that when a missing tag name is found on the resource group, the value of the applied tag will be blank. So now that we have a new custom policy created to manage tags on resource groups, let's create a new custom initiative to group this policy with other built-in tag policies to make it easier to manage this at scale. Here I'm just setting some basic configuration values for this new initiative, like the location, name, description, category, and version. Let's add our sets of tag policies. Here I'm selecting my newly created custom policy, which governs tags on resource groups. I'm also selecting Microsoft's built-in policy, which manages tag inheritance from resource groups to resources within. Together, these two policies form a basic set of tag governance controls that we can apply at scale. You can also add as many sets of these two policies as you want, depending on how many tags are required for your particular case. And when I complete this process, you'll see I have a total of six policies added, three sets of policies for each tag I want to govern. Now I'm creating three initiative parameters, one for each tag name. This allows us to easily pass in and change the values of each tag name from our associated policy assignment, which I'm gonna create shortly after. By the end of this process, you'll see I have three parameter names defined, one for each tag, and a default value for each of the parameters as well. Okay, now I need to map the required policy definition parameters to the initiative parameters we just created so that the values pass through successfully from my policy assignment. Here I'm choosing the use initiative parameter option from the value type drop-down box. 
Then in the value box, I'm selecting the related initiative parameter name I created earlier, such as tag name one, tag name two, etc. So for each of these tag policies, I'm mapping the policy definition parameter values to the related initiative parameter value. Now I'm going to assign the new policy initiative, so we'll immediately start applying tag governance at scale. Here I'm leaving the assignment enforcement mode as enabled to have Azure policy automatically remediate tags for new or changed resources within the chosen management group scope. On the parameter tab, I can modify the tag name values to suit specific requirements. Tag policies generally use the built-in tag contributor role as defined within the policy definitions JSON. I'm also able to set a non-compliance message which would be useful if our policies were using the deny effect. Back on the main Azure policy blade, we can see the overall compliance status for resources in scope of our latest policy assignment. Whilst the policy compliance stats update automatically in the background, we can also manually trigger a fresh policy scan ourselves which is easily achieved through the Azure portal's built-in cloud shell. Here I'm triggering a fresh policy scan on two subscriptions in my tenant. Okay, now let's manually remediate existing resource groups to immediately apply our previously defined tag names and default values. Because my policy assignment enforcement mode is enabled, this same remediation task will trigger automatically if the resource group were to be changed in any way. Here I'm leaving the remediation defaults as is, but you can adjust these depending on your environment. I'm also repeating this remediation task for the remaining two tag policies, which govern tags on resource groups, to ensure that all three tags are applied. As you can see, there are multiple ways to create a new remediation task from the policy portal either from the individual definition in your assignment or from the assignment itself, and then by selecting the definition to run remediation against. From the tags blade, we can now see our defined tags and default values starting to populate from the Azure policy remediation task, which I had just kicked off. Now let's update the default tag values on a resource group with our new values. It's important to note that after doing this change, Azure policy will not overwrite the tag values because due to the customization made at the start of this demo, the policy only cares if the tag name exists on the resource group. To demonstrate the tag governance effects on new resources, I'm creating a new resource group without any tags applied. If my tag policy was using a deny effect instead of the modify effect, at the resource group creation I would be blocked from completing the creation until I had defined the required tag names. As you can see our tag policies applied the three defined tags automatically. Next I'm updating the default tag values as I want these to automatically inherit down to my resources. Now to demonstrate tag inheritance working, I'm creating a new network security group under that resource group I just created. Here I can choose to pass in tag values or leave them blank for my tag policies to handle automatically. So the new network security group has created and you can see our three tag names and defined values from the parent resource group have automatically been inherited. This is great because it shows that overall, I have a lower overhead to manage tag standards and tagging consistency at scale. Okay, so let's recap today's demo. 
In step one, I customized an existing tag policy to suit my requirements. I also created a new tag initiative to group several tag policies together. In step two, I assigned that tag initiative to my management group scope. Then in step three, I leveraged the Azure portal's built-in cloud shell to manually trigger a policy state scan across two subscriptions. In step four, I demonstrated how to manually trigger tag policy remediation for existing resources. I also specified several tag values on one of my resource groups and created a network security group within. Overall, this demo should give you enough foundational knowledge to start leveraging the native Azure policy service to govern, enforce, and manage tagging at scale for your Azure tenant. Thanks for watching. Until next time.